in the kitchen. We sure are. You know, <laughs> you don't know kitchen. it now, but you will in a split second. That's right. We are in the kitchen. We're surrounded by healthy goodness. Mm -hmm. And we're joined again by Michelle Judah, Rooted in Nutrition, no. who is going to, you're going to make us a little something. Yes, I am. And what are you going to make us today and talk us through every ingredient and tell us yeah. how wonderful we're going to feel after we drink it. <laughs> well, first we'll, we'll make the nut milk, which okay. is a cashew milk. I like to use cashews because they're higher in protein than any of the other nuts. Oh, okay. And they just taste delicious. They're delicious. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're more milder they're flavor, favorite. like they don't have such a distinct flavor. Yeah. And then we have some smoothies that I've pre-blended up, Sweet. and then we can talk about those I after. But should we start with Perfect. the nut milk? Let's yeah. make some nut milk. Should right. you always use raw nuts? What's the thing between raw nuts, roasted nuts? Chocolate covered nuts. Oh, chocolate covered <laughs> would be wonderful. <laughs> Raw nuts, definitely. And then okay. I soak them first for, you can soak them a day before or okay. half a day. The longer you soak them, then they can sprout. And when they start oh. to sprout, that means they add more nutrients and vitamins to your drink. Oh. And that's why you see sprouted grain bread. Exactly. Promoted exactly. as something that's excellent. Exactly. Okay. So, so you're just going to put that in water? Yeah. It's so one cup of cashews to four cups of water. Okay. And but when pure you're water is them, good. Are you just soaking them in regular water? Yep. Okay. So I already have a cup of water in here with oh, the cashews. All right. oh. I just dump it in. <clears throat> okay. And I like to add dates for sweetness. Oh, yeah. So you can add maple syrup, you can add coconut sugar. Mm -hmm. I, I use whatever I can. Sometimes I soak the dates mm -hmm. and then I use the date water as opposed to the date because again dates have the highest amount of sugar from anything on the planet. See, I don't but see the downside, they are delicious. but I get it. Yes, okay. I know. They're <laughs> super delicious. Yeah, they are you don't good. have to break them up, but sometimes I break them up okay. and I put so them then in. When you soak them um, and you just use the water, what do you do with the leftover date? Do you eat it? Oh, yes. I use it okay. in baking. Okay. Um, like banana date bread is delicious mm. or anything else. Cupcakes. You can blend it and make a, a crust for a pie. Oh, great. And without using white sugar. And then I yeah. add cinnamon. I, I like cinnamon lots of cinnamon. You can fresh grind cinnamon, but I just didn't do that today. Yeah. I put a little bit of vanilla. Is there a benefit to fresh grinding things? Definitely. It it's, okay. just it's just fresher all around. I okay. mean, even spices that you have at home, if you purchase them at the store, I would say to use them within three months. So nutrient-wise, they'll degrade as, as the time Yeah, just goes. like anything, so just okay. like us. <laughs> Except we're going to have this, <laughs> except we're going to drink these yeah, magical we're things. Right that's right. Know, that's right. We're, okay. we're, but so we're going to slow down the degrading process with yes. some good and stuff And we here. will go crazy with that. Anti-aging? Anti it's always anti-aging. Yeah. yeah. Woo! We're blended. One, two, three. You don't need to do it too long. Some okay. uh, Sometimes after blending, you can put it in a, a milk bag, it's called, or like okay. a sieve, and take out the chunkier part. I actually like mine a little mm -hmm. bit chunky. Sometimes I use it and make chia pudding, which oh. these are chia, so you can add it, uh, let it sit overnight, and then it's like a delicious cashew chia pudding in the morning. Now, are these ground or are these? No, they're just natural chia seeds. Because he, no. this is what I've learned. Yeah. Chia seeds go in like this, I heard go out like this. Now you know. <laughs> So no, that is correct. To ground so them? In the smoothie, okay. they would be ground based on your machine. Oh, like right. you would need a higher powered blender. To ground them. Or okay. soaking them the day before, just like a nut. It okay. makes them more gelatinous. Yes. And they increase in size. That's almost like a natural scrubbing agent also. So then you're going to get some more. You're going to absorb more of the nutrients from them. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And more. Yeah, they're full of protein also. Oh, okay. So you can add those to milks also. I just add them to other things as opposed to okay. my nut cool. milks. Otherwise, you could mortar and pestle it, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 What now? Mortar and pestle. It's like that bowl with the, like the oh, cavemen. Oh yes, yes, the yes. Cavemen, yes. Okay. Yeah. See, I did not know this. I or did a not coffee know grinder. This. All right. I can pour some in here just so you can have a peek at it. But was. it takes really, it literally <laughs> takes thirty seconds, happen. and you can make it in the morning. Whenever, put it in the fridge. I keep it about five to seven days maximum because okay. it starts to smell a little bit funny. Okay. And I just keep it in a jar in the fridge, and then you Does have. Does it have a smell now? And is that for drinking? Yeah, if you guys want to try it later. No. Okay. It's delicious. I love it. So, and this, now, you would take this nut milk and do so many different things with it. You you could take it again and mix it in as part of a smoothie. Exactly. Right? As part of a smoothie, Baking. as part of a pudding. Like, okay. if you do make pudding, you can use eggs and nut milks as well. Okay. And cereal. I mean, my kids still eat some cereals. Yes. Coffee? Yeah, Definitely. I, I use it I in my coffee every morning. Do it. Mm -hmm. And what's the benefit of keeping it in glass as opposed to plastic? What do you have, what's your feeling on plastic? Well, plastic, if it's above a five, 
um, a symbol, then it should be fine, or you want to okay. make sure it's BPH-free. When you say above a five. The recycling symbol. So oh. it's, as long as it's, it's, meaning it's a harder plastic. Thicker, maybe. A thicker okay. and harder plastic. Interesting. And they have that right on the, when you go to buy something in plastic, it's ungraded like a one Well, it should be on, on the, the bottom, bottom of most oh. products. How mm -hmm. do you guys know all this stuff? I don't know this stuff. I read Facebook all right. news, <laughs> guys. This is why I'm here to ask the questions. Yeah. Okay. But glass is the best. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so would you ever ground um, any other types of seeds, like with a pumpkin seed? Definitely. Pumpkin would. seeds I love to use because they're very high in protein. Okay. They're also a natural parasite, so they kill if you're going on vacation. I always recommend oh. start eating them a week before you go away oh. or while you're there, bring a little bag. Really? They'll help you get rid of any little bugs, unwanted okay. bugs that you okay. want in your Friends body. Okay, that stay yep. too long yes. we were never invited in the first place. Yeah. Unwanted <laughs> visitors. Yes. Like your mother-in-law. But no, we won't, <laughs> we won't do that. We won't do that. Okay. Okay. And hemp seeds as well. And so, where are these? Yeah, hemp oh. seeds back here. So okay. they're raw shell. They have a really beautiful nutty flavor. Okay. I add those Ooh, to smoothies because they're very soft. And you can hide them with children, especially if you're making some like for drinks. Easter? Yes, you can chocolate cover them like, too. No. <laughs> Hide them and then they have to find them. Oh, no. Yeah, they're too tiny for that. They wouldn't search. Yeah. But these are loaded with protein as well, right? Loaded with protein. Like a quarter cup of hemp hearts has 44 grams of protein. Oh like it is, it's unbelievable how much protein. Say. As well as pumpkin seeds are 38. That so is they're very so high in protein. These aren't, like when you're doing something like this, then you don't want to go too nuts or That's too many right. seeds. I had to. I it was there. Said, I had to yeah. do it. Um, mm -hmm. So you would just do like, you would choose your protein probably one of these things, right? To go Definitely. With? Yeah. Or two spoons a day. So you, really that's all you would that's need. All you two need. spoons okay. of chia, two spoons of hemp, two spoons of So are they pumpkin. complete then? So for someone who doesn't have animal proteins, is that like complete protein for them? It is minus the B12. Okay, so, then so B12 is from, yeah, B12. that's right. And you can always take a supplement to get B12, like if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. Okay. Or you could eat fermented foods. Yeah. Like kimchi, sauerkraut. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. And beer. And beer. Yeah. I'm going to keep coming back to that. Yeah. I will have to look up if there's B12 <laughs> in beer. <laughs> I know. You can add it. In a you can add it. Or sure. It might not make a difference. Yeah. I still will drink it. Yeah. Um, turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. So that's a new superfood of the year. It's okay. inflammatory, Megan. That's right. Anti-inflammatory? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because not because I was thinking prone. inflammatory is probably not the way we want to go on that one. Okay. So anti-inflammatory. All right. That's so fantastic. the ingredient that makes it anti-inflammatory is curcumin, which everybody's heard it's in a lot of curry dishes. Okay. But it's not the only ingredient in a curry dish. So curcumin on its own or turmeric powder really doesn't have a lot of flavor. Okay. So I have added it to the one juice today, which is the yellow. Is this this juice here. Ooh. It will stain, though, I know that. It de definitely it will stain. Some oh. people brush your teeth. It's actually a natural whitener for your teeth. So, oh. But you don't want to get it That's on your funny. clothes, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Or yeah, so it'll stain but everything you but your teeth. stain if I, like, spill my juice down my top, or do you mean stain the container it's in? Or the stain container it's in. Okay, but I would also probably, well, probably stain whatever if I thought. Okay, yeah. so then it's involved in this juice. Tell us about this juice. So this juice is high vitamin C juice, so fantastic for the winter time. Oh, if you need a little vitamin C okay. boost. We have mango, papaya, blood orange, banana, oh, and banana coconut milk. So I really like to mm. use fats with the fruits. Mm -hmm. That way your insulin yes. is a little more regulated. Okay. Same as having protein with fruits. Yes. And then it doesn't spike your sugar. And, and what time is so, so good for, so this is a seasonal. What about time of day in terms of when would I want to have something like so this? So fruits I like to have in the morning okay. because then your, insula your insulin is more regulated in the morning hours okay. when you first wake up and it's a great energy boost in the morning. Going. In the afternoon it's nice to have one fruit as a snack but I don't recommend doing fruits all day long. Um, also you don't want to mix them with meals. You want to have them alone as much as you can. Oh, in okay. a smoothie with vegetables is fine. Okay. So this one is good for winter time. And then the other smoothies, I have a beet smoothie, which is great for liver repair, and which is the purple one. Too. So I this one, know. look at that. I added strawberries. So That's just, just pretty to look at. I, it is a great yeah. color, yeah. the fuchsia. So there's beet, fennel, pear, banana, mm -hmm. strawberries. It it, it, might, it doesn't taste as much like beet, but that's because I added the other fruit. So sometimes, yeah. you know, beets are just so good for you. Your liver also cleans before noon every day, so it's good to eat beets in the morning. But not after? Or it well, does its, just its, major, thing it's the major work in the morning. So not at night, really? but after you're awake? or you're Correct. Well, oh. your body detoxifies in the night. 
oh. typically between 2 and 4 a.m. And then that's if you give it, it enough time. It shoves it all to the, to the liver, that's right. and then the liver's then you like, thanks, guys, and now i got to get rid of this. Okay. Oh, and reboot it. So beet juice is great in the morning. The last one is my green machine. This looks oh, a little bit like... Oh. No. Well, no. that is green is machine no. with okay. activated charcoal, but green oh, machine... Okay. Your pointing skills are a little not on point. All right. So it's a green one. Apple. All right. So this one, <laughs> any time of day, any time of year, it's a great immune booster, lots of chlorophyll, mm. phytonutrients. Banana? There is oh, banana. banana. So yeah. I like bananas and smoothies, even though one banana is two servings of fruit. So oh, okay. I do, there is only half a banana in there. Oh, so you okay. could essentially it have that. on the size of the banana? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> size we, we does can, matter, We could go so far with that. Okay, this, this one. This is my favorite one. This, uh, this looks like oh, a right. Halloween drink. This looks uh, like spooky. I just think it looks I spooky. did serve that for Halloween. Did you really? I love it. Yeah. Epic. <laughs> so it's the green juice with the activated charcoal. So the activated charcoal is a powder. It does come in tablet form, but I... Um, purchase charcoal, it like in charcoal, bulk. charcoal that I would like yeah, put it's on my actually, bricks, charcoal. Well, yeah. the best kind is virgin, organic coconut it's shells. Always so that's what kind. that's what this is. Wow. These are burnt so down, steam distilled coconut shells. Coconut shells? Mm -hmm. Shells? Coconut shells. This is from coconut shell. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't taste like coconut. I mean, you can have a little taste, or you can taste the juice after. It really has no flavor. And it's I, used for heavy metal detoxing or okay. cleaning your blood. So you can do a spoon a day for as long as you want. Wow. It might change things to be a certain color afterwards, but what kind um, of thing? Kind, kind, of, <laughs> kind of like your beet juice. That's right. There's, oh, yes. beet juice should always have that's warning always labels on it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a bit right. Of a so I was like, oh, what instead I of eat? running to your doctor. Yeah. Yes. yes. So that's fascinating. I have never honestly heard of that. So that is very cool. Yeah, and I never really thought of what the origin of like where it would come from the charcoal the charcoal I, right because lots of times it just says activated charcoal yeah. you really have to do a little more research yeah but the best kind of activated charcoal is the coconut shells and the reason being is that when it's burnt and steam distilled it has a greater surface area meaning it can pull things out of your body right and, and chemically bind sorry it and yeah it attracts body. all the metals heavy metals that you don't want in your body in your body and like just Takes them down, no. and in and out. That's so right. this right is out. amazing. Someone like so, someone could technically do all of these, but different days. Let's say, like you could pick a day to do one type of juice, pick a day to do another, depending on, right? So yeah. What you f even what you feel like eating. Like if you're feeling your immune system is down, you might want to have yeah. one juice. The vitamin C is fantastic. The beet is really fantastic because beets have a lot of carbs, complex carbs that before workout so before a heavy yeah. workout after a heavy workout you don't have time you're rushing around you want to eat within 45 minutes of a workout amazing and well i want to eat within like five no. seconds so i'm just <laughs> going to say let's wrap this up ladies I so love we can it. get stuff in our mouth <laughs>